Hi everyone, how's it going? This is Sar in advance, and uh, my first video in a couple weeks. Yeah, I uh, I went on spring break, so that's fun. Anyway, so this video is me soloing the nightfall. I actually had a little bit of a struggle doing it, but I ended up figuring it out. Basically, just use the Telesto. It, it's super easy. Anyway, um, basically what I wanted to do... Uh, in this video was talk about the April update, uh, talk about like the different changes they made, uh, and if I think they're good or not. Uh, overall, let me start by saying, yes, I think that this is the best update that they put out. I love the content that they put in it, and I feel that it's overall probably the best thing that they've done in Destiny since year two. Uh, the only reason for that is because it is easier to level up. Now, when the Taken King came out, I was striving for 320, and before that, 310, for the entire time. I wanted to be the highest level in the game, uh, and I could never quite do it. I struggled with it just about every time, and to be honest, I was struggling at 319 and 309 for the longest time. That was my main problem. Uh, so, the fact that the April update has actually changed a lot of that, for the better, um, I actually can level up a lot easier than I was able to in the previous update. Now, with that being said, uh, the leveling is pretty slow, I'll be honest. Um, I was expecting it to be more like House of Wolves, where I hit the highest level in like a day. But that wasn't the case. It actually took me quite a while to get to the highest level. And I'm fine with that. I really am. Now, as far as let's say, the items that you can get from the DLC, or the update, I feel that they're pretty good. I've used a few of the Queen's weapons. As you can see right here, I'm holding the Queen's Pulse Rifle. And I got a God Roll on it, so I, I really enjoy it. Uh, also, like, the new exotics that they brought back, I really love the Queen Breaker's Bow. I haven't been able to use it in, like, over a year. So it was nice to see that I could finally get that weapon back. And, uh... I like it. I feel that the exotics that the game has added are good, and that the legendaries that they added in, like the old year one legendaries, are pretty good. I feel that uh, it's a very balanced DLC, especially in the fact that it's not like Etheric Light where you can hit the highest level in one day, uh, and it's not like the old uh, the old system of you don't get a one-for-one one infusion. I feel that this is going to make a lot of people look a lot different. Now, obviously, the Spectre gear and the Taken gear is going to be favored, among a lot of other things. Uh, and that is especially prevalent in the, uh, the, the Taken gear. I feel a lot of people really like the way that that looks. I don't. I like the Spectre gear better. And then also, I am working on a complete raid set that looks pretty good. <laughs> so, generally, I feel that this is going to just overall improve the customization so not everyone looks the same anymore. Uh, it's overall going to make the game feel a lot more fun because you can actually get to the highest level a lot easier. I haven't tried out the new Zen Meteor, which I've heard is okay, but it's not stellar. Uh, basically it's outclassed by the Black Spindle in about every single situation except for, like, screwing around at the Dreadnought, uh, or in any other patrol or story mission. I've heard that the, uh, the Spindle is actually a little bit worse, and that the Rocket Launcher Sniper Rifle is pretty good. Uh, however, you do have to proc it very specifically, instead of, uh, in a different manner, like, the... Uh, the black spindle is where you're going for headshots anyway with that weapon. Boss damage weapon. So, I don't know. It's up to you on uh, whether or not you like the sniper rifle. I'll try to get it this weekend because of Zer coming <laughs> back to the tower. So I'm going to get like 90 or so uh, exotic coins or whatever they're called. The three of coins, that's what they are. It's been a while since I've been back to this game, can't you tell? But, uh... I'm going to be grinding the 
April update because I feel it's the best update since release, really. Uh, of even year one, I feel that this is the best one. Uh, all of the weapons feel very balanced, uh, especially like the new auto rifles feel very well balanced. I haven't used the Suros yet. I do want to try that out uh, on both modes. And then like pulse rifles feel pretty good in PvP. This one especially. Well, I'm not using it right there. But the uh, exotic one, not the exotic one, the Queen's one is really good. I feel it's one of the best weapons in the game right now. So, I mean, yeah. The April update. As far as the story missions go, I'm not going to elaborate on that very much. Because I don't feel it's the greatest. Uh, but it's free and you get two new story missions. So if you're complaining, you're really doing it wrong. I feel that you're kind of selfish in that regard. But we have 16 weeks until the fall update or DLC. We'll see what that leads us. As far as this update goes, it's very good in the fact that you can infuse one for one. And that's probably the best thing that they've done in this game because everyone looks different now. It's really, really cool. And the Chroma gear, it's just a little flair to add on to it. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this kind of mini review, uh, give it a like, I guess. I'll probably do another one of these soon uh, just because. But uh, thank you guys for watching and look at those shit drops. Oh my god.